In the 1950s, piano player and band leader Sun Ra made the term space is the place a popular phrase in jazz lingo. But his belief that he was a stranger from outer space didn't stop him from making 100 records and becoming an innovator of the free jazz movement. Here's Christian Farr with the story. It has been said that wherever you go in jazz, Sun Ra has been there and left. This video is from a 1981 soundstage performance by the legendary Sun Ra and his orchestra at the Chicago Jazz Festival in Grant Park. 25 years later, materials from the time Ra spent in Chicago are on display at the Hyde Park Arts Center. Some call me Mr. Ra. Some call me Mr. Ra. Others call me Mystery. You can call me Mr. Mystery. The things that he was doing 25 years ago are still having trouble being accepted by some people today. Sun Ra was a band leader, piano player, and a composer. He was uh, responsible for the first electronic instruments used in jazz. He was interested in free improvisation and in modal jazz long before that was something that anyone else was experimenting with. In the early 1950s, Herman Sonny Blount left traditional jazz in his hometown of Birmingham. He traveled to Chicago performing his new style in South Side nightclubs. Blount's deep interest in Egyptology and other religions led him to change his name to Sun Ra. Members of his orchestra wore colorful, glistening outfits that were a combination of African garb and outer space suits. The deeper aspect of the space connection for Sun Ra really had to do with African American identity. I mean, he looked at, at the question of being African American and being cut off from your own history that, uh, beyond uh, slavery as being equivalent to being alien, being alienated. In the 1959 film, The Cry of Jazz, Sun Ra and his orchestra provides the soundtrack for this cinematic essay on the politics of music and race. Through spirituals, through the blues, then through jazz, we made a memory of our past and a promise of all to come. Then the history of jazz is the story of the fantastic ingenuity of the Negro in America. Yes, that's a part of the incredible genius of the Negro. Sun Ra played on the idea of alienation by creating his own independent label, L. Saturn Records. With the help of band manager Alden Abraham, Ra designed his album covers. Creating his own music and persona became a way of life for Sun Ra and influential to many artists who came after him. Sun Ra was considered like mostly uh, a strange guy. Although brilliant, everybody recognized that no one could play on, uh, right on his level. Musician Phil Coran played trumpet in the Sun Ra Orchestra in Chicago in the late 50s. After Sun Ra moved to New York in 1961, Coran co-founded the Association for the Advancement of Creative Musicians, or the AACM, an organization that credits Sun Ra as a major influence in its devotion to composing original music. He'd go to the 10 cent store and get a Buck Rogers hat with a whirring <laughs> light on it or something, you know. And he'd just write a song for it <laughs> and put his hat on, you know. <laughs> that was what helped me more than anything else, is the fact that Sun Ra didn't have any borders in his mind. There were no limits in any direction. Sun Ra died in 1993. He left a social and creative impact. Members of the Sun Ra Orchestra continue to tour globally. Musicians like Chicago and Ken Vandermark still play his songs. And Ra's legacy has inspired some of the most popular music in today's culture. Ra was very concerned that Americans had lost sight of the vital importance that beauty and culture have for them as living beings. He was formulating what he hoped would be an antidote to that. He's not a marginal or eccentric figure, he's a central figure to American culture. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Christian Falk.
The Sunrise exhibition, Pathways to Unknown Worlds, includes original album artwork, highlights from his days making records, and movies about his work. It runs through mid-January at the Hyde Park Art Center. And there's more information on our website. Artbeat segments on Chicago Tonight are made